And we have another contester for Best Actor of 2010. Go guy from Mamma Mia. The King's Speech. So the King's Speech is the story of the Duke of York who would become King George VI. It would become a time of war, the United Kingdom and the British Commonwealth would need a leader, someone who would inspire confidence and speak for them, the people. Only problem is the guy that got has a very severe stammer or stutter, speech impediment. Now the trailer makes it look like this guy just doesn't like public speaking, but in reality the guy stammers when he's talking to his four-year-old. It's a little rough to watch. And now the radio has just sprung on the scene, so now the king needs to address all his subjects on the air. So you really feel like there is just no hope for this guy, so he goes and sees a speech therapist who is none other than Barbosa. Good old Jeffrey Rush. Now in watching the trailer, I thought Jeffrey Rush was gonna just steal the show, like he would be that supporting character that just overshadowed everybody. Not that he was bad, he was really good, but uh, Colin Firth, man, that's the guy. There is no time in this movie, like no spot that I can think of that anyone ever upstages Colin Firth. If you had never seen Colin Firth before, you never saw a movie that he was in, you would swear to God he actually has a speech impediment. He just absolutely, he was the role. Like Heath Ledger and the Joker, only less homicidal. And everyone did a good job in this movie. Everyone just acted their asses off. Like Jeffrey Rush was awesome in this movie. Helena Bonham Carter played a normal chick. That was cool. And she was good at it. Guy Pierce was in it and he played a douchebag. He's good at playing a douchebag. What can I say? Well, like I said, no one ever upstages Colin Firth. He owns every scene. It's like it's an inspiring story in a grand scale in the sense that this guy needs to be able to publicly speak in order to give the people in his country confidence in him so they can get through this coming worldwide crisis and just function in general. But they keep it focused on one guy's struggle with his own disability. Dude, that's good filmmaking, seriously. And I like how this royal guy, this royalty's only hope in getting through this personal crisis is this guy, this commoner, who, I mean, culturally speaking, so much lower than him in class. But when they're in the same room together and they're working, they're equals, you see that. Royal people are just normal people. And now the bad in the movie. Yeah, I got nothing. My only gripe is I didn't see this movie in 2010 when it actually came out. It would have been on my top 10 list easy if I had. The King's Speech is inspirational and it is awesome-tacular. If you don't get inspired by this movie, you are the most jaded prick on earth, I promise you. Next to the guy who wiped his own ass with his Toy Story 3 tickets dub. I would recommend this movie to anybody, any human being. I don't care if you're a fascist anarchist who has established rule over Antarctica. Watch the movie, get inspired, feel good. And on a side note, be sure to check out schmoesnote.com for my blog that I wrote about the entertainment business and where it's kind of going right now. I feel it's interesting and relevant, so I put the link below, go check it out. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.